world premiered at South by Southwest, and it's been making the rounds in North America. And we did our South American premiere recently, and now we're here, and I'm stoked. So first time in London then? Uh, I was in London two years ago, but not for Fright Fest, so I feel like I missed out. Okay. Well, so. Regardless, welcome. Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the film, um, what it kind of plays on, and what kind of characters are in there? Sure. Um, We're Still Here is kind of a mishmash of all the things that I loved growing up with horror movies. It's it's kind of a love letter to like Italian Euro horror, like weird melodramatic sort of 70s drama horror films, but then just has like wildly violent sort of crazy ghosty moments. Um, so it's kind of a kind of an amalgamation of both like this 70s made for TV weirdness as well as like the 80s Stuart Gordon-y sort of uh, over the top. So if, if, I mean, I guess if this is your um, debut for the feature film here. Um, what was the process like in terms of like in comparison to other films that you've done? Um, this was my first time directing. I've written and produced a number of films but never directed before so it certainly was a different experience. Um, but it was fantastic. Um, I had a lot of fun. Um, I had like the best team I ever could have asked for to make it. Um, my producers, which are uh, Snowfort Pictures and Dark Sky Films, I I've known for ages so it was really exciting to be able to work with both of them. And then just the cast and crew are incredible. It's a ton of friends. Barbara Crampton's one of my dearest friends. Um, Larry Fessenden, who plays another one of the leads, is also one of my best buddies. Um, so it was a lot easier to be able to work on a film when you love everybody you're working with. So I guess that must have been a contributing factor to picking up this kind of script. And uh, Yeah, it's, um, you know, I, I wrote it um, with the intention of casting people that I loved in it and working with people that I loved. So uh, the role of Anne was written expressly for Barbara. Um, so, you know, kind of through it all, I just kept imagining that she was going to be able to do it. And thank God she was. So. Okay. And for the locations of the film, um, did you guys just kind of ambush and take over a town or was it just kind of scattered about for the um, filming? A little of both. Um, we did take over a town. Um, it was shot uh, outside of Rochester, New York, in a little town called Palmyra, um, which is the birthplace of Mormonism, which is really interesting. So it's like this extremely religious town that we were just like covering in blood and guts. Um, but the uh, the house itself was found through a church group. Um, so there's there's a lot of weird religious undertones to the movie that ended up being totally awesome. Um, but yeah, no, we just kind of took it over and it was this huge community effort. We had all these people from Palmyra who all wanted to help with the film and be in it and offer what they could. And so, I mean, I would shoot there again in a heartbeat. Like, it, it's so weird because I come from New York and in New York it feels like they do whatever they can to make it difficult for you to shoot. And you go to some place like Palmyra and they do everything they can to make it like the easiest, most amazing experience you can have. So. From the, I mean, from the bits that I've seen, it actually feels like a lot of it is um, kind of very casual and that they're just kind of accepting of their own um, weirdness. Um, so I guess, was, was there any difficulties you faced? Um, no, I mean, the, you know, part of the idea was that we would do something weird. We wanted to make a movie that felt different than the typical sort of genre film. Um, you know, it's... <laughs> It's supposed to have like a tinge of melodrama and like just a tinge of the absurd. You know, it, it never plays for camp, but it certainly does things that like most films don't do these days. So. And final question, um, would you ever move into a converted funeral home yourself? In a heartbeat. Yep. I don't believe in ghosts, so I'd take the, I'd take the price discount immediately.